Hello, my name is Rick and I help businesses build and optimize accessible Shopify websites. In today's video, we're going to audit a Shopify website and you're going to learn how we do it. Follow me. We're going to use a random website. I just googled Shopify stores in Ontario, Canada and found this business, Bush Woodcraft. They're not clients of mine, we're just going to use them as an example. So this is how the website looks like, pretty nice, and this is how it looks like on mobile. And here's the audit. So you can see that it's non-compliant with the Worldwide Consortium Accessibility Guidelines or WCHG, which many parts of the world use as a basis for accessibility legislation. In this case, because the business is in Ontario, then they must comply with the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, AODA. If you want to learn more about it, check out their official link in the description below. We're now going to look at three issues found in the report. The first one is that there's not enough contrast ratio. So these bullet points here refer to different menu items in the page, as you can see here. You're likely aware that some people are colorblind. In fact, one in 12 men and one in 200 women have some form of color blindness. That means that about 4.5 of the world's population is going to have difficulty perceiving different color combinations because of color blindness. You may think that tackling this issue will break the beautiful design of your store. Well, there are tools that allow users to modify contrast to their needs without you having to do anything in your page, so you don't have to worry about this. The second example is a combination of these two points here. It says title levels should not be skipped and should be built with consistent hierarchy. And you can see that it places an H3 tag. I'm going to explain what that means in a sec. And um, an H1 title provides information to blind users using screen readers of what the main topic of the page is. So each page should exactly have one H title. And as you can see, it marks three H1 title tags within the single page. We're going to see what that means here. So this is a graphical tool that allows you to see where those title tags are placed in the page. You can see that there's one H1 title tag here and an H1 title tag here. You should only have one priority H1 tag and then you shouldn't jump to H4 directly without passing through H2 and H3 title tags. You can see a hierarchy example here in this image. And the last one, this point that says menu items that have a drop down menu include an area expanded attribute that equals to false. Well, what this means is that menu items that have a drop down menu are not keyboard navigatable. So let's see, let's see it live here. If I press tab, I can go through these items, but if you go through them with a mouse, you can see that it opens up soup menu items. Now, there is no way for me as a user to see those with the keyboard. Despite what I press on the keyboard, I cannot access these soup menus. So this is important because many users with motor disabilities rely on keyboard. Some people have tremors, which doesn't allow for fine muscle control. Also, some non-disabled clients may prefer to use keyboard just because. So that's it for today's video. Consider liking it, subscribing, and if you have any questions, comment below. Cheers. At FirstBets, we know how to make Shopify accessible. 